Hi, just wanted to do a quick video on a genuine versus real Apple MagSafe charger, the 85 watt version for the older MacBook Pros. Um, this one actually caught me by surprise because I bought this charger as a genuine charger direct off eBay, which might sound like an oxymoron, but the uh, end of the story is this was marketed as a genuine Apple charger sold on eBay under an Australian company. Um, now these two chargers are very convincingly identical. There's very little to actually spot different out of these two chargers and I'm actually going to show you how there's only really one or perhaps even two major differences in the actual build of these chargers and how you can actually spot them without actually having to test them like I had to. So we'll take a closer look at these chargers. Okay, so first looking at the um, genuine Apple charger here, we can actually sort of take a look down at the bottom. We can see we've got a uh, European certificate, we've got UL, everything like that. And most notably, we've got the label for Delta Electronics. Um, that's actually the primary manufacturer of pretty much all of Apple's chargers. They make very high quality power supplies. And I just want you to take a notice in how bold the uh, markings on the side, they're quite dark. And quite readable, although some of them have rubbed off with them in over age. So we'll take a look at the uh, fake charger here, and I'll excuse that the plastic wrap's still on. I'll, I'm planning on getting a uh, return on this from eBay. But you can see that it's got uh, all of the CE, UL listings, etc. And most notably, it's actually not made by Delta Electronics. It's actually made by uh, uh, Lighton. They're a manufacturer of uh, power supplies and most notably DVD drives for computers and stuff like that. That might be true, that might be false, but as it sits, it's a fake charger. Uh, around to the side, we can see this one makes absolutely no excuse of um, trying to prove that it's an Apple charger. It says uh, designed by Apple in California, made in China. That actually sits true to exactly what the, um, the real Apple charger actually says on its side as well but what should be noted here is that the um, the markings are once again very dull and most fake chargers actually go to the effort of displaying California misspelled such as California or something like that um, all right. this fake charger compared to the real charger also has a uh, serial number you can see that the real one on the right and the fake one on the left they actually have genuine serial numbers. Okay, so here we have a set of uh, standard kitchen scales. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to weigh the two, compare uh, which one's heavier. Typically the fake chargers are actually designed with very minimal componentry, very little EMC shielding, so they can't actually give such a clean power output. They don't deliver as much capability where it comes to wattage, they're not as efficient and uh, most times they don't even meet any sort of standards. So we're going to turn on these kitchen scales and zero them and measure the uh, genuine Apple charger first. And we get a weight of about 266 grams. So now we're going to put the fake charger on here. We found that it's only 193 grams, so there's somehow they've managed to pull almost, what's that, 70 grams of weight out of the fake charger. So, what we're going to look at next is this charger, as I just noticed off camera, actually rattles. So, as you tilt it around, I'll put it in front of the microphone, you can hear it actually rattle around. There's something rattling around inside. Maybe a screw, maybe a, uh, who knows. So, what got me most interested about this charger and what actually tipped me off from it being fake most genuinely is when I plug this in this is actually live so here we have a multimeter and a kilowatt hour meter what we're going to do is we're going to test out the genuine charger here and see if it's got any earthly cushion or whatever this is straight to ground so if we go to AC volts here uh, this is plugged in through the kilowatt hour meter we'll find it's not drawing any any, any current whatsoever, we'll go to... Uh, I've got six watts of current drawing idle. 
so that's rather understandable. We're going to get our probe out here and we're going to test it against this. We've only got, uh, we've got absolutely nothing going on here on the cheap multimeter. Nothing going through the ground on any of the um, outside casing. So we'll try that with the fake charger and see exactly what happens. This is using a uh, genuine Apple style uh, power adapter. This didn't actually come with it. It came with a smaller one, which we'll go over in a minute. So if we plug this in, I already know I don't want to touch this. We'll go to, uh, go to the outside casing of this. We'll find that we've got 10.7 volts AC going on that casing straight away. This has actually got the plastic crap on it, so I'll go in behind here. We got about six, yeah, there you go, 12, 13 volts. Um, extremely dangerous, and we'll see why that actually becomes more of a problem when we uh, get it hooked up to the MacBook. Okay, so here we have the uh, uh, late 2009 MacBook Pro, 15 inch running with the charger at the moment. It's got the orange charge light on. We're pulling about 70 watts, so. Uh, considering that this is supposed to be an 85 watt charger, that's still much lower as well as these are typically only about 80% efficient as most power supplies are typically around 80% efficient. Um, I don't want to touch this MacBook at the moment because as I'll demonstrate, there's actually something quite worrying going on here. So down here we actually have a chip on the, on the metal casing where it was dropped by a previous owner. We're going get out to get out of probe here and touch down on that raw metal. And you'll see that we're pulling 95, well, about 95 AC volts straight to that point right there. That is incredibly dangerous. And I actually managed to touch the speaker grill earlier, which had a uh, very small, um, very small amount of exposed metal around the speaker grill, and that actually managed to make me jump. So that's one of the dangers of a uh, cheap Chinese um, knockoff power supply. They're just very dodgy, as, as we can see in this one. The neutral, or possibly the ground, has got some form of leakage to the primary side of the uh, AC current, because what should be coming out the end here is should be entirely DC, as laptops charge off DC power, so there's a concern in itself right there. And here's with the genuine uh, Apple charger running. I mean, still see it's only pulling 74 watts, so I sort of retracted my statement about that earlier. They must. This MacBook must not be pulling much current when it's charging or as much as it can out of the power supply. So we're going to touch down on this metal casing again and we can see that there's absolutely no current going through that. That's most likely grounded. We've got nothing coming through that whatsoever. So there's a demonstration. I mean, that's a proper Apple MagSafe power adapter. This is a cheap one. You should stay away from them, even if they're marked as genuine. Um, I'll go over. Uh, I'll show you, show you this. I I'll link this. I'll link this video in the description below. But there was actually another YouTube user actually found a problem with these um, fake ones. Is that they typically have a couple of identifying features, such as the uh, power adapter around here sometimes has a step in it. Uh, I can't find that in this one. Um, other physical features: the cable feels a bit stiffer than the uh, normal Apple one. It doesn't have as tight a bend radius and. It's actually got a matte finish to it, rather than the glossy finish of the Apple cable. Uh, under this metal, it's, it looks to be a crappy powder coating job, whereas on the other one, it uses the same Apple silver powder coat that we've known to see in the past. So yeah, that is a fake Apple MacBook charger shown as genuine on eBay. Uh, don't buy a cheap charger.